here um, at the first game. What, what can you draw on that? Well, we got to win three ball games. I mean, that's the experience that you draw on. Your season's on the line tomorrow at one o'clock. So that's the experience that you draw on. Is guys have to understand when they come to the ballpark tomorrow that we're fighting for our lives. We're trying to extend our season, and that our season is on the line in game one. And game one is all that matters uh, because uh, you know we got to try to do everything we can to play two ball games tomorrow. So. Uh, that's the bottom line. The season's on the line tomorrow, one o'clock. Need to put together a good game. Need to compete for nine innings. To find a way to win game one and force game two. I have. I mean, obviously, I haven't had a chance to think about that right now. Um, as soon as I get back into the locker room, we'll talk to the coaching staff and we'll name the starter. Charlie is a little hard to keep your rhythm when somebody's stepping out of the batter's box as much as they were and, and taking as much time and blue pitches. No, I think it is. Um, it is a good job. Of, you know, like Coach said, that bunch of strike pads and outs. And so I wouldn't let me credit it too much to the seven hours. I just had a really good break in the next year. Any other questions? Coach Kyle Wilkie hit two balls hard right at the first baseman. I think there were men on base in both of those situations. Uh, a couple inches here, a couple inches there, and made those innings completely change. Yeah, it was tough. You know, we had uh, Bird uh, hit the triple there, and uh, was sitting at third base with one out. Wilkie did a really good job of getting himself in a good count to hit, a 3 1 count, and he lined out uh, to the first base. The first baseman had to leave his feet to catch the ball. Uh, that was tough. You know, that would have that put us on the board right there. Uh, but, uh, you know, you got to give them credit. They're a great defensive ball club. Chris Williams, you know, smoked the ball late in the game there, pinched his bat, drilled the ball. Uh, and, uh, you know, Coleman, uh, who's a very, very good athlete, uh, made an outstanding play uh, that would have scored us a run there, too. So we had some tough luck. Uh, but at the end of the day, it was about Vanderbilt starting pitching in their bullpen and their ability to extend innings with two outs and come up with, with big two out hits and two strike hits. So that was the story of the ball game and that's why they won the game. Where did you team up with that coach here? Was that the best picture that you see on the team? Yeah, he's up there. Um, yeah, he's up there. Uh, you know, he's got a good mix of all his pitches. He throws them all for strikes and sends accounts. Um, and you know, he's, you know, he's ace of uh, a staff for reasons. He's got, got a lot of good stuff, but we got to find a better game plan to compete. Um, I'm trying to, uh, you know, trying to change the game as good at that. Tomorrow, uh, because our season's on the line, but I think we'll uh, bounce back. And, you know, I think the only option is going to be ready to go tomorrow. Uh, this is for Rudy and Charlie. Uh, when did you guys go over there and tell the rest of your team that you're both out of the top? You played in the same line, you know, the experience of how important it is to kind of get you ready to go in one order for it. I mean, tonight sucks, but you can't blow on it. Um, you know, tomorrow we're fighting for our lives. Tomorrow, you know, we're not promising anything except for one game. We're promising nine innings for the rest of the season. And so I think you got to come out and, uh, you know, try to put together uh, as, good as, as good as nine innings as you can. Um, you can't go forward, you can't go behind. you got to stay in the present moment and, uh, you know, compete every pitch to stay in that moment. I appreciate the opportunity we have. Um, and, that, you know, that's the way we got to go about it. Your opponent said that appreciate a line drive to the wall. Well, I haven't had a chance to think about my lineup for tomorrow until I know who the starting pitcher is, uh, who we're facing, uh, and obviously I'll, you know, give us a call through tonight uh, and in the morning as far as, you know, kind of what we want to do lineup-wise for tomorrow. For, for both Coach and, and Rudy, with the potential for a couple of games in just a short amount of time, you have to be back here in less than 12 hours, how does it change how you prepare for a game, from, from meals to sleep to when you get, how does all that change for you? Well, we just, you know, we got to get our guys in bed, get them rested, get them ready to go. Um, you know, it's a short turnaround, but I think our guys understand the sense of urgency. Uh, I think they understand uh, that, you know, whether we get uh, a little bit of sleep or a lot of sleep, or we get, you know, a couple of meals in us or not, at the end of the day, we got to go play. Uh, so we're definitely not going to use it as an excuse. I think, I think adrenaline and competitiveness will take care of that. Uh, so uh, I think we'll be fine. I don't, I don't think our ball club with the short turnaround and the fact that we're fighting for our lives uh, to play two ball games is, is going to affect us in any sort of negative way. We just got to go play. He said it. He said it all. <laughs>